Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast where we talk about every last boss, last boss, last boss, and last boss uh, in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a man I like to call Mint Jelly, Will Hughes. Uh, professional writer Will Hughes, please. Professional writer Will Hughes. Thank you, Gary. I like to call Mint Jelly. Yeah, Gary, uh, I feel like there's a specific re- I know why. I, I know roughly why you're saying that, but I would like to know if that's a specific reference. Well, no, it's mint jelly because you're on the lamb. Oh, okay. Is that a lyric? Uh, that's from a Simpsons. Oh, okay. Uh, which one? Uh, grandpa says it. That does sound like a grandpa line now that I think about it. I'm trying to remember what the context, like why he was fleeing. Gary, real quick, and- rate the the Simpsons family members from worst to best. Okay. Um, I'm going to say worst. So does grandpa count? Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, worst, I'm going to say... Bart. Interesting, Gary. You have made a big swing right out the gate. Yeah. Same Bart. I mean, I, um, I get it. Like certainly Bart over like historically has shown to be the character with like the least legs. Yeah. There's just not a lot going on with Bart. There's like not, it's hard. There aren't very many good Bart stories. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. He used to be the, the main character and the early episodes are like up through, you know, a millhouse divided and Bart sells his soul. You know, there was good stuff to do with Bart, but as a uh, official like Simpsons late season apologist now, mm-hmm. who has watched like a bunch of late season Simpsons. Congratulations on your uh, new title, Bart. Thank you. Uh, Bart stories are the worst. Yeah, uh, the only late again, like my conception of late Simpsons is also just completely fucked because it means like season yeah. fifteen. So yeah, fifteen sol- years ago in the first half. Yeah. Uh, I oh, I think I've even mentioned this one on the show, but there is a bit in like the the second Lurleen Lumpkin episode where mm-hmm. she is so upset about her father. That she mm-hmm. has removed the word dad or pop from anything in their house. Because she's saying okay. stay at the Simpsons house. And uh, she is, Bart is going to give himself some cereal. But she has cut the word pop out of the pop, snap, crackle, pop on the cereal mm-hmm. box. And it all pours on the floor. That, that's pretty fun. Well, but but the line is, like, he just, he grabs the bowl and starts just shoveling it back into the bowl with a spoon. And, just, and he goes, you'd think it'd be really fun to live in a house full of crazy people. But it's actually really depressing. <laughs> it's it's good, man. Simpsons, it's well, good. A, Simpsons is great. Well, that's the kind of stuff you get from uh, my second favorite Simpson all the time, Lisa. Oh, wait, wait your second least favorite, you mean? Because you jumped a lot of second Simpsons. Second favorite. Okay, well, then I did jump a lot you of jumped Simpsons. a lot of Simpsons here, Gary. We got to be, uh, uh, if we're not Grandpa, comprehensive here. Grandpa, Homer. Uh, no, Grandpa, Maggie, Homer, Lisa, Marge. Marge is my current favorite Simpson. Interesting. I know it surprises me too, but it just uh, Marge jokes are amongst my favorite. The uh, the just like Marge mom joke is very funny to me. Yeah, where it's kind of quiet. It, it's not not making fun of her, but it's in a in a yeah, vaguely affectionate way. Like it's a little sad and a little affectionate. Yeah, she she when Lisa doesn't want to go to the dance and Marge makes homemade Pepsi and comes in with two milk jugs <laughs> full of brown liquid, <laughs> and shakes them like homemade Pepsi is so good. The Simpsons, um, a cultural institution. Yeah, at its best. The best TV show of all time, I think. Uh, at its best. At its best. Gary, it's uh, Final Boss Sunday. Oh, yeah. And we're talking about an interesting Final Boss. Of course, we're talking about uh, Final Boss Sunday. There is more to life than boss. So take a chance and face the boss. Final. 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 Boss. And talking about the lamb. I wanted to get that. That was such a fucking weird power play, man. (laughs) (laughs) Do you need that today? Is that what Gary needs? (laughs) Yeah. I, is this one, I can't remember, is this this is a boss you don't like? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the lamb. Oh, I, I like the lamb. So the lamb is the boss the of the cool. dark room, uh, which yep. we've talked about on Chapter Sunday. Everybody remembers that. <laughs> Absolutely. Look forward to Chapter Sunday Resurrection uh, coming soon. Uh, so the lamb is, like all of these bosses, is kind of Isaac? Yeah, he, he's Isaac-esque. He's one of the Isaacs. 
Um, and he's a two phase boss fight. Um, I will, I will acquiesce that the lamb does not have very much in the way of like super interesting attacks. Yeah. Um, it feels a lot like an Isaac or a blue baby fight. Um, but with the interesting second phase where its head pops off and the corpse provides like all the light in the room Yeah, and you have to kill them both. I think that's really cool. Um, I think that like killing, you know, killing the corpse first cause it's spitting out these little homing shots is advantageous, but then it can be quite dark, uh, in there. Yeah. Like that little risk reward. I don't disagree. Don't it's just, I don't know. I always feel like I'm just like, I always feel like it's like 20% damage spongier than I want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're like, uh, man, I've been, since I've been playing, uh, with repentance, I've been fighting all the bosses mm-hmm. again and I like, we're going to get to it. I cannot abide hush. I fucking hate that fight. I, um, I, 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 I can defend hush a little bit more because of the, uh, intensity of the fight. I, 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 I like the, like, we'll talk about it, but I like the ramping intensity of hush. Yeah. Whereas I don't think that there's much of that in the lamb. No, there's there's not, but the lamb lasts lasts like one fifth as long. I know. It's it's also just like this is the last of the bosses that was only like a single room boss, and that does feel yeah. constrained. Yeah, yeah. I like um, I like it when Isaac gets maximal with its its bosses. It's why Mega Satan is still my favorite of the final bosses. It's a uh, you know now uh, my favorite of the final bosses is now uh, the yeah. Ultra Horseman, and it's it's good. It's just a little beast. I. I I think we'll talk about it, uh, but I think moving away from like basic Isaac gameplay loses it the top spot for me. I just, I just think it's very fun. I think I can, it's fun and too. If I, if I get to it, I can pretty consistently do it. Like it feels very fair. Yeah, it's not hard. It feels so much more fair than dogma to me. Oh, absolutely. Dogma's, yeah. dogma's kind of shit. I, I kind of like, like dogma like personally, but it is very hard. It's, it, it's, I've, I've just now recently figured out how to do the, like, dodge the spinning blade. Congratulations. Uh, attack. Kinda. 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 But you can just get stuck in, a th- like, many situations where there's nothing to do. You know? So. But we're not talking about dogma. We're, of course, we're talking about the lamb. Sure. Uh, beating the lamb uh, lets you rerun. Uh, well, I guess everything lets you rerun now. But. Yeah. Used to not be that case. Um, reruns rerun, are, reruns uh, are weird. They're really weird. Um you did that because you would get, a, you know, a special item for doing it. And then you would just do it just for funsies. Like literally just like the reruns are like you start back at the beginning, uh, at least at first with all your items. And then as you do subsequent reruns, you lose items every time you, yep. you restart. But the idea is just like you're having a run that's so fun. You want to take it through the game again. They uh, And then they made this as an item um, in Repentance. Oh, cool. Uh, with the R key. Which is uh, incredible. Yeah, I have not, I have not unlocked or played with that one yet. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's very rare, but it just starts your run over with all you get to keep all your stuff. Gary, will we get very bored if we try to describe all of the attacks here? It's a lot of little homing shots. A lot of little homing shots. Really he bored. like he shoots out some flames and stuff. Uh, yeah, who can say? Spins, spins around a little bit. Has some attack flies. He's like it's a so it's a like a goat head, like it's a Satan goat head floating around above the body. Uh, at least that's, that's phase two, but yeah. And, uh, floating attached to the body or not floating as it were. Um, you get a bunch of good unlocks. Yeah. For this, this is, uh, is, is high up on the good unlocks. Yeah. I mean, curved horn, uh, this, man. Mm-hmm. Single best freaking like in the game. Your, curved horn is wonderful. Um, I really like black lipstick. what you get? I really like Pandora's box. Uh, succubus like is really soul. neat. Succubus is great. Yeah. I love succubus. Um, you get a lot of cool shit from this. Yeah. Uh, and it's um, not uh, overly punishing to do. No, 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 no. Um, you know, and for a while it was just this like great source of novelty. Like if I was just feeling the game was a little stale, I'm like, let's, let's do Dark Path. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's go fight Satan the Lamb. Like I'm always going to the chest. And now that they've made uh, the Dark Room have four Devil Deal yeah. items. Um, and that they've made the negative God, US Gary, that's, damage up. That- I, I don't want to like go nuts, but it, that is among my favorite changes to the game is that they made the negative actually good. Good. Yeah, it makes it made it a, a trade off. Made it great. Yeah, it's legitimately like, do I want the shield, or mm-hmm. like even if I'm going like up to the ascent, it's like, do I want the shield or I don't want the damage? I usually want the damage, but yeah, but it's still a fun. You it's know, a decision. To, to, yeah, super fun decision. They 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 just did a great job. 
Let's let's good God, Gary. Let's hear it for the boy. Let's, let's, let's hear it for repentance some more. Yeah, have we talked enough about let's, how much we like repentance? Yeah, have we talked about how much we have like six months before we can actually get to any of the stuff in it. And which is why it's bleeding into the fucking show, Gary. We didn't even do any like weird characters this week. It was just repentance talk. It was just repentance talk. I'll take some blame for that. Sure. Uh, as uh, you know, uh, Gary, I'll dish it out. Being I'm uh, being off my game. My my whole thing in life. Uh, one of like my great moments of self awareness was being like, I really can dish it out, but can't take it, and I'm embracing that. I'm a I'm a okay. glass cannon. Okay, thanks, Stevie okay, Tropes. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're the Wooby. I Gary you're the glass cannon Wooby. I'm the glass Wooby. You're the, hey, you're the scrappy Wooby. Hey, no, I'm glass Wooby. Go fuck yourself. Hey, Be nice to me. Yeah, <laughs> will do, glass Wooby. Thank you. I salute thee, little Wooby. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sail on, soldier. <laughs> yeah, for, for those about uh, Wooby. Gary, if you were a TV salute, trope. For those what, about to trope. Yeah, Gary, if you were a TV the, trope, what would you be? Which trope? Yeah. Uh, like, fat? I don't know. <laughs> like, if I picked up a <laughs> gun, a gun I, I'd be gun crazy or something. Yeah. You know, that's what they would do. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't know which one I would be. I think you're Sundari. Depends. Oh, I, well, I'm, I'm a, see, you know, that's a, that's a reputation I have on podcasts, but I'm actually incredibly nice. Well, I think I, Gary, I'm just saying that on this life. show, you're definitely the Sundere. I think you're pretty Sundere on the show. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Fuck. I guess, I, guess Sund- so. I mean, I know that's a Sundero thing to say, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a funny thing. Cause it's like, Oh, uh, on Twitter when Zach Hamlin, uh, our buddy was like, Oh, that's really pure coming out of you, Gary. And I'm like, that's like real life. I'm actually Gary's a very sweet. pure boy. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sweet uh, in real life. I just play up my group. Well, first of all, I'm paired up with Cole Ross, which like everybody's going to look like a fucking testicle pervert. Sure. Compared to, to Cole. And then I'm up against you who bring out all my worst traits <laughs> in the best way. <laughs> I don't know you how know? I do that, Gary, because I'm a good guy, too. I'm a sweetie. <laughs> You're a great guy. But something about when we get together, it's like we're the fucking Van Strucker twins. We're Fenris. The upstarts and shit. X-Men. Okay. I, God, that that was that reference was almost hitting. But you know I'm not Jeremy, yeah. right? Yeah, no. And I, I can't be and Jeremy. And me and Jeremy have a unique energy where, like, I think that, you know, that's the, the weird wild. Hey, Gary, what should uh, people do if they like this show? I'm enjoying this. I'm taking my power cast. back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen to Days of Future Cast. I intend to um, someday. Talking about the Brood saga right now. Uh, did you know that the Brood, like, talk a lot? Uh, I guess I kind of knew. Uh, my only exposure to the Brood is when they show up in Exiles and kill Mimic. They, I didn't realize. I only knew them really from the cartoon. I hadn't really watched, read very much of Brood stuff. They talk constantly and they, like, drink a lot. <laughs> it's, like, very surprising to me. Drink, like, beer? Um, uh, it's, like, those, like, weird Brood bottles. They have, like little rooms in their uh, spaceships and what have you that have bottles of libations and they'll send like certain waiter broods off to go get libations for the party broods. So they're like, what if the xenomorph wanted to party? It's very, it's very like a xenomorph party. Um, xenomorph party is Patreon my favorite that- track off of Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen that. Like xenomorph. people complain about act two, but the xenomorph popping out of James Madison's chest is one of the most amazing yeah. moments. Well, that's all you had to say to get me into it. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that like a Keen yellow esque slow burn, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like the first half is just this boring play about the founding fathers. Then the aliens get involved. Hamilton versus predator. I, Gary, you're once again, your lips to God's puckered ears. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Patreon.com slash DuckFeedTV. You can also leave us a rating review on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict. Like this one left on Podcast Addict by BRB Coffee. Thank you. I can't wait for Repentance to come out. These guys will definitely be talking about all the new items in depth. Kinda. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we certainly will. I mean, this, Keep this, your pants on. Yeah, it came out on... This This review came in uh, on 420. Repentance had been out for some time. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what the timeline here is. People... Like... People play weird fucking games to like try to get to the top of this queue. So I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with these fucking people. That was a five star review though. So thank you, you fuckers. Thank you. I'm not Sundari. You're fucking Sundari. <laughs> I'm not Sundari with you. Gary, is that the, Gary? Is this the first? Me. Is this the first fucking T-shirt? <laughs> I'm not Sundari in here with you. You're Sundari in here with me. Yes, Gary. It's pretty good with like a picture, like two of us, like two fat Roshocks. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Fat raw shocks. Yeah. Fat raw shocks on their pedestals. 
the, the, the um, thank with, you for pronouncing with that. With the correctly. McElroys. Yeah, with the, the McElroys. The McElroys. Good night. Good night. <laughs>